Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight we get the week started with the first of four between the El Paso Chihuahuas and the Las Vegas Aviators. So digging in now, C.J. Abrams, and we are set for baseball here this evening. The 2-2. And this is swung on and missed on a great pitch that time. And the leadoff man is down on strikes to get this one started. Bases are empty, one man out. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hit hard towards center. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Stepping in now, Taylor Trammell. He's fallen behind now, three and one. We're seeing a good A-B here from the three-hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here, he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first inning. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jason Vossler. It was an 0-4 for four day for him in yesterday's loss. The one two. A oh, double play ball to second. Four. The second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. And next up will be Franklin Barreto. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Set to deal on two and two. From 0-2 to 3-2, what a great at-bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Ground ball left side. Scooped up. Uh, throw not nearly in time, so despite the great effort, that'll go into the books as an infield single. In now, Vimael Mashi. Hit back up the middle. He's got it. Beckham for one. On to first to complete the double play. So coming to the plate, Seth Brown looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. The 3 2 pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The 3 2 one more time. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. The next 3 2. Another one sent foul. Faces are empty here with two men out. Here's a swing, and this is hit well down the line in right. This ball has a chance, and it is gone. A home run. To the plate now, Trace Lair. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Pitch on the way. Great change up there in the dirt for the third strike. And that ends the inning. Stepping up now, Webster Rivas. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Now the one and one pitch. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. The one two. Line drive to center field. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out their half of the second inning. That is good. The second baseman. Jordan. Into the box. Gordon Beckham. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. Low throw, and he can't handle the short hop. 
No one out with a runner at second. Just hung in there on that one. Swing and a hard liner to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. The tying run is in to score from second. That is seven. The first base hit. At the Brad. plate, Brad Zunica. Zunica. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Abraham Almonte, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Popped him up. Thoreau over to his right. One down. At the plate, Abraham Almonte. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Almonte. The 1-1 home is a sinker that misses for a ball. You got two balls, one strike. In there, two and two. Hey, now he's got me confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play, and he throws him a four-seamer. On the ground to the right side, and that gets through for a one-out base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Batting nine, the center fielder, Michael Geddes. So now to the plate, Michael Geddes. High in the air out to center field. Barrera is there, two gone. And this throw gets away from him. But they'll catch a break as the runners are going to stay where they are here as there's no advance. So striding in, C.J. Abrams. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. The 2-1 pitch. Well, two on, two outs, and he's got himself in a great hitter's count. He just has to be careful not to get too aggressive. A walk would be good here, too. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Designated hitter, Braybick Delora. Skied into straightaway right. Dykeman is there to make the catch, and they'll escape the bases loaded jam by giving up just one run. Late Greg Dykeman. The 1 1. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Standing in, Jonah Bryant. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Now in the box, Tyler Ramirez, hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Geddes will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Top of the third set to get underway. Striding in, Taylor Trammell. He drew a walk his first time up. The one-two. Swing and a ground ball to third. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Lifted the other way out to left center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he is in to third with a leadoff triple. The bat. The third baseman. Jason Vossler. Standing in now. Jason Vossler. 
hit hard on the ground is short. And that is through into left field. A base hit in the score. The runner from third. Now batter. The catcher. Webster Rivas. In now Webster Rivas. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Fouled off. Smoke toward third. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. The batter number three. Second base. Gordon Beckham. Into the box now. Gordon Beckham fouled away. He'll try again. One, two. This is on the ground is short. Could be two. There's one. Back to first and give Beckham a red card for this one. It's a double play. Riding in once again, Brad Zunica. Over one after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah, we used to have a saying right here. You would. And it's the pitcher that makes the play to retire the side. Striding forward now, Luis Barrera. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's game. Hot shot down the line. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. Prior to the 3 2, will look to first. And the runner will get back standing. Into the box, Colin Thoreau takes this the other way to right. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. At the plate now, Franklin Barreto down the third baseline. One there. On to first, and they get the double play. So stepping in, Vimael Mashi, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. The 2 2. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Count remains full. A 2-1 to one score here as we play inning number three. Line drive. That's a base hit into the right center field gap. And the tying run is into score from third. It's now a 2-2 ball game. The battle. The first base play. So now to the plate, Seth Brown. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Geddes is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Digging in for his second at bat, Abraham Almonte. He reached on a single in his first try. Now the one and one pitch. going to be trouble. He's around first, heading for two. And that is off the wall in right field. Now that is the center fielder, Michael Geddes. At the plate, Michael Geddes. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. And they take the lead. It's gone.
to the plate now. C.J. Abrams. And he gets under this one as the ball is skied into very shallow right. Barreto stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. At the plate, Bravik Valera. He's one for two in this one. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Reaches out for one and hits it on the ground to second. Barreto brings it in, and there's out number two. Ready for another chance? Taylor Trammell. He made it to third on a triple in his previous appearance. Yeah, guys, that was the first triple of the year for him, and you got to believe it's not going to be his last. The way this guy can absolutely fly, any ball in the gap screams triple. I'm going to need to see a better game plan out of the hitter right here. That ball was at his eyes. Liner toward right center. And that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Now that third base. Jason Bossler. Into the box now. Jason Bossler. And the count will be full. Two out here and a runner at second. Line towards center field. That's in there. Base hit. Trammell rounds third and is digging for the plate. He will score. And now it's a 5-2 ball game. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Stepping in now, Trace Lair. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here. Capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Stepping into the box, Greg Dykeman. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. The three and one pitch. He is swung on and missed a full count now. When you get yourself to a 3 1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. Into the box, Jonah Bride. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Now Stepping in, Tyler Ramirez. He flew out in his last at-bat. Here's the 1-1. A ball and two strikes now. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down or he won't be out here very long. Slapped hard the opposite way, but gloved by the third baseman for the out. Digging in now, Luis Barrera. He singled his last time up. Bryant leads off first with one away. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. He's set. Here's the three and two. Hard hit toward the hole. And that's through for another base hit. He'll make it two for two in this one. Now batting, At the plate now, Colin Thoreau. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Count remains two and two. the stretch and he tries to get him to reach for it but it stays outside three and two for the guy in the mound this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy he's throwing a bunch of pitches and this AB hasn't been any different definitely laboring at the moment so he punches him out looking at the fastball Colin Thoreau becomes out number two this inning 
Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. George Smith, a six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. Settling in now, Webster Rivas. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Big rip at the curveball, but he comes up empty and it's even at two and two. He's having a great day at the dish. His timing is spot on. His pitching staff's going to have to find a different way of attacking him. Now the payoff pitch home. Full count still. Rounded up the first baseline. And that's a fair ball as it's through into right field. The batter number three. Second base. Gordon. In now, Gordon Beckham. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Ready with another 2 2. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it, one gone. Now Coming to the plate now, Brad Zunica. He's popped out and lined out. 0 for 2 thus far. Lifted down the line and left. Long run for the left fielder. And they can't run it down. Another 2-2 offering. This is driven to right. And no doubt about it, that one's way out of here. At the plate, Abraham Almonte. Up and in. And this one sends him to the ground. It's ball two. Swing and a drive. This one's deep to right. That one's out of here. Back to back home runs. You're Jamie Schultz, 5'10 right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Jamie. To the plate now, Michael Geddes. Out in front as this is skied in the air to straightaway left. Ramirez comes on now and puts it away for the second out of the inning. The batter, Into the, the box now, C.J. Abrams. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And with his speed, he's one of those rare guys who you'd actually like to see keep the ball on the ground. You can't beat out a fly ball in this game. Bravik Valera would be next. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. Digging in, Bravik Valera. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Really doesn't matter what side the plate of this guy bats from. He hits very well. He hits right-handed pitching very well. Swinging left-handed and swinging from the right side against lefties. The numbers are quite the same. This guy flat out can hit from either side. He's set and the 2-1 pitch. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Lifted the other way out to left center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. David Bednar, a six foot one inch right hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Number 67. Ready now, Vimael Mashi. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. 
This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Hit hard down the line. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it. And the leadoff man's aboard. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. The back, the first baseman. Wow. Into the box now, Seth Brown. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Catch made in straightaway center as the runner tags from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Trace Lair. The one two. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run, but he won't get there. It falls in. And the runner from third scores as they try and work their way back into this one. That makes it an 8-5 ball game. Right fielder. Into the box, Greg Dyke. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. The third baseman, number five. Stepping in now, Jonah Bride takes this the other way to right and that's in there base hit and they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base and they're loaded with one away and now Tyler Ramirez now a chopper to first might only get one fielded cleanly to second for one and the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily Ready for another shot now. Luis Barrera. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Hoping to limit the damage. Here's the pitch. This is line to left. And that's going to get down out there. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Michel Baez. Trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. So now to the plate, Colin Thoreau pulls this one in the air out to left. Left fielder giving chase, but he can't get there as this hops over the wall for a ground rule double. And a bit of a break on defense as only one run is going to score. At the plate, Franklin Barreto uh, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. It is absolutely amazing how this game has just changed on a dime right here. Credit the offense putting a big big inning together to get themselves right back in this ball. Gettys is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. Now with the play Taylor Trammell and it was quite a turn of events we witnessed in the last half. A lot of runs put up on the board and we've got a very close game on our hands now. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. I got two on the count. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Jason Bossler waits on deck. Oh, the good curveball there, and it's three and two. That's a tough pitch right there. Curveball kind of front hit. Your first move is to bail a little bit and kind of not want to get hit by that pitch. I can totally understand him taking that first strike. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Ready once again, Jason Bossler. He was thrown out at second trying to stretch a base hit into a double in his last at-bat. 
Yeah, I'm not sure what they saw right there. Maybe the first base coach was giving them the green light to go ahead and go to second base, but obviously it didn't work out in that situation. It did take a good throw to get him, though. Into center field, line drive base hit. And he is in there ahead of the throw, so first and third now to kick off the inning. Now back. At the plate now, Webster Rebus. Now a foul tip that's held onto at the plate, and the count moves to one and two now. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout, or you're still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try to induce the ground ball to get a double play. Fastball is outside, and it's full now, three and two. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. And he misses with it, ball four. So that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Needs a punch out here. Can he get it? Yes, he can. A swing and a miss, and that's a big out number one. T.J. McFarland was called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. Brad Zunica will be the first to meet him here, and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed. Bases loaded and only one out now. Got him. So they're unable to even put the ball in play here, and now one more out can get him out of this mess with the game still tied. The set and the 1-1. One -one. the right a base hit oh but it's offline so the run will score and the second runner will pull up stakes over a third so one run is now in and the bases stay the loaded finish. with two away Michael to Gettys. Blake now Michael Geddes now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate to two balls and two strikes now This is on the ground to short. Is he going to get out of this? He is. They get the force at second base, and the inning is over. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Vimael Mashin, two for three with a double on his line so far. Count is one and two now. Now the pitch. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Line drive to left. So he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. So the leadoff hitter reaches base safely, and now it's the run-producing part of the order with nobody out. Into the box, Seth Brown. Swung on in the dirt, and that's a strikeout. Next will be the designated hitter, Trace Lair. A hit in two tries for him so far. The 2 1 pitch. To 2 and 2 now. never threatened the zone it's gone full now to three and two we could see the runner in motion here on a three two count with one out there's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at and if not it's ball four anyways relay to first in time and just like that this side is retired to the top of the lineup stepping in C.J. Abrams it was a walk in his last trip from the windup the 1-1 one, one pitch left side and that's through into left so a leadoff single here to start the seventh now back dedicated hitter Brazier. Standing in now, Bravik Valera. Grounder down the line at third. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. 
Liner into right center. That's a base hit. Throw into second, and the throw will go to second as they get the force out. Now to the plate, Taylor Trammell. Two hits now and two trips for him thus far. Taylor Trammell. The 1-1 one, one home. Lifted the other way to left center. Barrera is there to take it, and that's the second out of the inning. Now at the plate, Jason Vossler. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. The 1-1 one, one home. Hit in the air out toward left. Ramirez will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Gerardo Reyes gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Digging in once again, Greg Dykeman. He's two for three and looking for more here. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Two and two the count. Now a swing and a little tapper to the left of the mound. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Stepping in, Jonah Bride. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. One out, nobody on. To Beckham at second. And that's the second out. Coming to the plate now, Tyler Ramirez. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. Yeah, I need to see some solid contact right here. Certainly it'll get the confidence going. He's been slumping pretty hard. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Bouncer to the left side. Reined in. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Ian Gardeck has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 92, Ian. Standing in, Webster Rivas. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. The 1-1 home. Looks like he's pitching pretty cautiously right here, but that happens when a guy's three for three on the day. Usually he's a guy you challenge a little bit more, but I guess he's earned some respect in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there, a little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Stepping up to the plate, Gordon Beckham. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Hit hard towards center, and that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Now that's the first baseman. Brad. So now to the plate, Brad Zunica. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. Little chopper back to the mound. He'll force it to second and get it out there. The turn throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. Trey Wingener is on the pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 58. Into the box, Luis Barrera trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. Now the one and one pitch. That's the ball. We got two balls, one strike. Great situation right here. Leading off the inning, you've got to find a way to get on base any way possible. But I don't like to take the aggression away from hitters. If it's in your zone, I want you swinging. And he 
lays off. Ball four. So now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. Digging in and looking for more. Colin Thoreau. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run and get you a ribby. Another payoff pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. So a big moment here in standing in Franklin Barreto. And he does so representing the possible go-ahead run. The 1-1 home. Pops this one up. But this will land untouched. Winginter is a guy known for his lights-out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty D, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit-miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls. And that can cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. And he misses ball four. So now that potential tying run scoots up 90 feet to third base. Now that so they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. Trace Lair will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. He's safe at the plate, and we are tied here in the eighth. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Into the box now, Greg Dykeman. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Well, I'll tell you, he's not hitting over 300 by luck. He really knows the strike zone and his own strengths. That last take is a great example. Almonte is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Donnie Hart comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Abraham Almonte will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the play here. And this is low, ball two, two and one. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. sit back on the changeup and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. On the ground to third. Throw on to first for the out and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now with the plate, Michael Geddes. And if you remember, I'm sure he does. He hit a round tripper back in the fourth. Good take there to lay off the high fastball. And a left-handed batter waiting on deck, though there's a good shot he might get pulled back. Hit the other way out toward right field. Dykeman is there. Two down. So the lineup flips over and digging in C.J. Abrams last time through was a base hit. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. And that'll get down for a two-out single. The bat, number one. Designated at the plate now, Bravik Valera. Valera. And they set up away with the fastball, but it misses three and one. And it's fouled away. Three-two, two out, runner on first. 
Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring now position at second. The 1-1. One, one. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field, a base head. Now batter, the third baseman, Jason Vossler. To the plate now, Jason Vossler. Up high, two and one now. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. He's in there at the plate. And here in the ninth, they have taken the lead. Miguel Romero takes over now with two gone here in the top of inning number nine. At the plate, Webster Rivas swung on and missed, and it's even at two and two. Struck him out, so it remains a one-run lead as they head in for their final set of swing. Kyle Bearclaw comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Number 45, Kyle Bearclaw. Digging in to try it again, Jonah Bride. He was a ground-out victim last time up. Come back with one in the third as the count moves to two and one now. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor. He's swinging a pitch that bad. Not good. Still even at two and two. Pitch on the way. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now at the plate, Tyler now Ramirez right comes here. in 0 for 4 with an RBI in this one. The 2-1. Barrera is on deck. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The next 3 2. Lifted down the line and left. And he will make the play. Two away now. Now batting, Luis Barrera trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Wow, that was a fun one to watch. A great game for guys with the sticks, but for pitchers, not so much. A classic slugfest, and they walk away on top in the end. 11 to 10 is the end of the line in this score. The Chihuahuas cash in with 21 hits and route to victory. Jerry Keel claims the win out of the pen his first. Kyle Bearclaw closes the door for the save, his eighth of the season. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com. For the Chihuahuas, 11 runs on 21 hits. No errors. They left 15 runners on base. For Las Vegas, 10 runs, 15 hits.
One error, they left eight runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 59 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.